Hi guys, this is Ray Snow. So today I'm gonna explain how to add gray filter to your image. So I received this request a while ago and uh, this is the function that I used when I made this uh, Persona 5 themed notepad. And so yeah, so you can add this kind of a gray filter on these characters. So like this. So I'm gonna explain how to do this. So I'm gonna create a simple window uh, real quick to test these images. So just a moment, please. And the window is done. And then uh, J label. So picture label. Okay, and now uh, initialize image icon. So pick for new image icon. And get class, get class loader, get resource. And uh, here, so okay. First, uh, okay, so before typing something here, we need to prepare uh, images. So let's create uh, another folder from here, new, and uh, source folder. So let's choose this source folder and name this as a uh, less. Okay, so resource folder is uh, created here. Okay, so now here, uh, I prepared these uh, three images. So this bat, monster image, and uh, also slime. And these pictures were drawn by Henry, so who is the artist for my dungeon crawler RPG. And also uh, this uh, sample, like a video game screen picture. So this is from a fantasy star. So let's copy this so to this rest folder here. So, so now we can uh, load one of these images here. So first let's try this uh, slime maybe. Then so type slime.png uh, and uh, set this icon on this picture label and set icon and pick and also finally uh, let's uh, make this window visible so set visible uh, true okay for now so let's check this okay so it looks like this man this rhyme looks cool i really like this so and but now this picture is a uh, colored picture so we're gonna ch we're gonna change this to a gray picture gray picture i don't know <laughs> so we're gonna add gray filter on this color color picture okay and so i think i'm gonna uh, make other method here uh, add gray filter or something. And uh, I'm gonna explain two ways to do this. And the one is pretty simple one. And the other one is uh, a little bit complicated, but uh, you know, more, more customizable one. So first I'm gonna explain the simple method. We're gonna use this image class. I'm gonna name this as a color image and equal. So we're gonna use this pick. Pick means uh, this image icon and pick dot get image. So means uh, okay, and uh, let's import this. So this means uh, we're gonna convert this image icon to this image and name this as a color image. And then we're gonna make another this image and I'm gonna name this gray image. And 
and、uh, equal. We're going to use a class called、uh, gray filter dot create this one. Create a disabled image. And inside of this bracket, we're going to type this color image. So, this way、uh, you can add gray filter to this、uh, color image. So, and then、uh, we have to convert this image to image icon again so we can display, display it on this、uh, J label. So, to do that,、uh, type like this image icon gray. So, I'm going to name this gray icon. Call new image icon gray image. Okay. Then we're going to set this gray icon、uh, on this picture label. Set icon gray icon. Okay. So, this is done. So let's call this method from here. Gray filter. Okay, let's check this.、Hmm. Okay, so it looks like this. So the color image、uh, changed to this gray image. So this is the、uh, simple way to do it. And, but maybe. Maybe you would think、uh, maybe you want to make it a bit darker or brighter. So maybe you want to adjust the gray level. And there is a way to do it. So I'm going to explain the second method, second way to do it. So first, let's comment out for now. Okay.、Right. This is a simple,、uh, simple way. So this is a、uh, uh, more. First,、uh, it's the same, so let's make this color image. And this time,、uh, we're gonna use a class called、uh, Image Filter. And I'm gonna name this as a、uh, iFilter or something. But,、uh, We're gonna initialize this as a gray filter. And、uh, we're gonna pass some parameter here. So basically,、uh, we're gonna pass these parameters to the constructor of gray filter. So, anyway, the first parameter is、uh, boolean, so the true or false. And、uh, either way, it's fine. So I'm gonna type true for now. And then、uh, you need to type number from 0 to 100. And this is gonna decide you know, the gray level. So, and for now, I'm gonna type 0. Okay. And、uh, import this image filter. And now、uh, we're gonna use another class. This time it's called、uh, ima oops, image producer. And I'm gonna name this as i producer. We call a、uh, new uh, filtered image source. Here we're gonna use this color image. So, original picture here. And Dot get source, comma, and here type i filter here. And、uh, import this class. Okay, then、uh, we're gonna, we're gonna make、uh, another image, image, and this time I'm gonna name this as a gray image. And、uh, equal、uh, toolkit, toolkit dot get、uh, default toolkit dot 
create image. And inside of this bracket, we're going to type this I producer. Producer. Okay. And so finally, this gray image is created. And then again, we're going to com convert this gray image to uh, image icon. So I think we can just copy this. So we're going to change this gray image to gray icon and set this size so also we can copy this so let's uh let's check if this code is working or not let's uh, use this line picture again okay hmm. and uh, so this is the original picture and uh, this is the a gray image created by this uh, simple method. So yeah, uh, as you can see, the like a gray level is different. So okay, so uh, let me explain what this means. So this true and number. So if this boolean is true, then uh, the more number you typed here. The more uh, the gray level decreases, and uh, if this is false, the more number you typed here, the more like a uh, gray gray level or dark level increases. So it gets darker. So for example, if I typed 50 here, then yeah, slime looks like this. So it's darker than this one, the number zero. And if you switch this to true, and uh, zero is like this, and then 50. 50 is like this. And uh, if you change this to 70, then so even more like brighter, like this. Uh, let's check what. Let's decrease a little bit. Like this. Also, let's uh, just uh, yeah, and also like this. So maybe you can use this kind of image for like a flashback scene or something. Maybe. So anyway, this is how to add gray filter to your image so i hope this is useful for you and uh, thanks for watching and see you again